There are not many places that are home to both flat land and to the hills that feature salt box homes to mansions in luxury gated communities with country club complexes. Family friendly Tarzana in Los Angeles does just that. It has homes of every size, shape and price range. Over the last few years, it's been rapidly growing in popularity with many celebrities settling down here with their families, snapping up beautiful homes on extra large lots. So today we wanted to take a deeper dive and look at the San Fernando Valley neighborhood. This channel is all about living in Los Angeles. We cover communities all over the city. If you're interested in learning more about LA, then subscribe to this channel and tap the little bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current happenings and the market in Los Angeles. My name is Dominic Labriola. And I'm Ange Coley Catalano, and we're realtors with Craft & Bauer here in Los Angeles. And today we're taking a look at Tarzana which sits on the northern slope of the Santa Monica Mountains in the San Fernando Valley. It's a 30 minute drive away from Hollywood and it's just over the hill from Santa Monica and the Pacific Palisades if you go through Bel Air and Brentwood. Tarzana is actually right next to Encino and it's bordered on the south by Topanga Canyon Park. To the west you have Woodland Hills and to the east you have Encino. Like each of the valley neighborhoods surrounding it, Tarzana straddles the hills and the flats and running through the middle is the prime commercial strip along Ventura Boulevard. Tarzana is almost nine square miles and you have homes to the south of Ventura in the hills and homes to the north of Ventura Boulevard that are in the flats. You will find homeowners that have lived in their house for 40 or 50 years, which is a testament to how happy the residents are living in the area, as well as the bond and sense of community created by the neighbors themselves. So where did Tarzana get its unusual name? Well, Edgar Rice Burroughs, the Chicago writer who created the fictional character Tarzan, when he found success, moved out here to the San Fernando Valley. He bought a ranch here as well as several hundred acres of land that he subsequently subdivided and sold on to developers. Other famous Tarzana residents like Lisa Kudrow and Chris Brown have also owned homes here. The Los Angeles Times has described Tarzana as being moderately diverse but predominantly white. Around 35% of the population here is foreign born, with both Iranian and Russian being the most common ancestries. An interesting fact about Tarzana for all single people is that it has the distinction of being amongst the country's highest percentage of divorced men and women. So get here if you're looking for your second husband or wife. Tarzana has a large percentage of residents over 50, which means that people move here and they really don't tend to leave. Out of all South Valley neighborhoods along the boulevard, Tarzana is probably one of the most affordable. The part that borders Reseda is much more affordable, but below the boulevard, it's very expensive. And the closer you get to Mulholland Park, it's even more expensive. Homes are easily around 5 million and upward. South of the boulevard in Tarzana, there was really an explosion of mid-century modern homes in the 1950s, 60s and 70s and many of these were built with jetliner views and it has also very distinctive neighbourhoods such as Melody Acres which is known for its ranch style homes on huge lots. Most of the lots are anywhere from half an acre upwards and they also have large country fields. So it's not uncommon to see horses, donkeys, chickens. There are less than 300 homes in Melody Acres and it has its own neighborhood association, which has a mission to preserve this kind of semi-rural culture. Mulholland Park Estates is another of Tarzana's communities that's often considered the most exclusive gated community here. It's located at the top of Reseda Boulevard and directly at the base of the Santa Monica Mountains. This affluent neighborhood consists of 176 largely spacious homes of Mediterranean style design by acclaimed architects. This prominent community offers five floor plans, starting at approximately 5,000 square feet. They have manicured lawns along with palatial custom design homes. This community is immensely popular with celebrities and ultra high net worth individuals, where security is of the utmost concern. And that's because it has 24-hour guard-gated security. Now, my favorite types of homes in Tarzana are the many mid-century modern homes. 
with amazing views that you tend to find south of the boulevard. Tarzana has been a big draw for many people, including a lot of celebrities, because of the huge lots that you have here and also the spectacular views. But something that you should be aware of if you are going after a view home is that if your home sits on a hill, it's smart to build in a plan for doing brush clearance and also keeping your vegetation and surrounding areas well kept. And this is so you can prevent those California wildfires that we've all seen on the news. Additionally, you'll want to protect the structural integrity of your home in the hills. And for that, I would recommend that you have good drainage around the house because you really don't want the home's foundations to shift. Whilst it doesn't rain much in LA, in years where it does, like this one, it could have a really big impact if you don't have good drainage. So I would really suggest that you are fully aware of the landscape of buying a home like this. One of the reasons that we think Tarzana is an exciting Los Angeles neighborhood is that there's a lot of development happening here. Developers are knocking down original structures. On some of the huge lots, they're building brand new homes. And this is something that we think is gonna be ongoing over the next few years because there are other development projects that are in the works. Cedar sinai in Beverly Hills is one of the most well-known Los Angeles hospitals, home of many celebrity baby births. And in the San Fernando Valley, you have Providence, Cedar sinai Tarzana, which since 2020 has been undergoing a $624 million modernization project. This is a huge update and expansion and when it's complete, in the fall of 2023, it will feature a new five-story patient care tower with state-of-the-art operating suites and all private patient rooms. They are also adding cutting-edge research labs, advanced imaging technologies, and new breakthrough treatments to take this community well into the future. Now, exciting developments aside, we do need to warn you about one of the negatives about Tarzana is that it gets really hot in the summer. It can go from the 90s to even the hundreds, which can be a bit overwhelming. I've certainly been stuck fiddling around with lock boxes, trying to get into homes to do showings. And, you know, I felt really flustered to be quite honest with you. But the good news is that most buildings here, offices, people's cars, everything is air conditioned. So you can cope. Also, most of the houses here have swimming pools, which makes it bearable in the summer and the beach is around 25 minutes away. Tarzana has a population of almost 40,000 people, and along Ventura, you'll find a great variety of mom and pop businesses. When it comes to restaurants and nightlife, you will find there's not that much going on in Tarzana, especially after 9 p.m. This is a very much family-oriented suburban community, so if you're looking for more action, you may have to get into the car. There are, however, some amazing restaurants which really reflect the area's diversity of Mediterranean and Russian cuisine. And of course, you have Sushi Row, which is along Ventura Boulevard. It runs from Studio City to Calabasas. If you're looking for a bit more action or to go for a drink, you are going to have to head to Sherman Oaks or Studio City or venture over the hill into the city. Now, every part of LA has a lot of traffic and Tarzana is no exception. You do have to plan your time smartly to avoid peak traffic. That's not to say there isn't much to do in Tarzana because you do have great options. In terms of working out, there's an Equinox here. It's close to so many yoga and Pilates studios. Additionally, the Santa Monica Mountains are right here. And Topanga Canyon State Park has loads of hiking trails. In fact, at the south end of Reseda Boulevard is the entrance to Marvin Broad Mulholland Gateway Park, which has miles and miles of trails with spectacular views of Tarzana and the Greater San Fernando Valley. There is a fee for using the parking lot inside the park, but if you park just outside the gate, you can park for free without a time limit. Whether you're on foot or bike, these trails offer hours and hours of outdoor exercise and fun. The Tarzana Park and Community Centre is in a quiet pocket just north of the 101. And it also has several options for recreation, including basketball, baseball, as well as an indoor gym, a jungle gym, and a full community center where various events are held throughout the year. There's also many dance classes and winter camps for children. If you like to bike or walk, but don't like the risk of riding in the traffic, I definitely don't, 
The orange line path is a wide paved cycling and pedestrian path. It runs parallel to the bus path, providing an overall route of 17 miles. It begins in North Hollywood on one end, and then it runs through the parklands of the Sepulveda Basin through Tarzana. It turns north at the Warner Center and terminates in Chatsworth. If you hop onto the path's counterpart, the Chandler bike path, you can extend your ride all the way to Burbank. Tarzana is also known for the multiple golf clubs in the area, including Braemar and Balboa Golf Club. But today, I wanted to give a special mention to El Caballero Country Club, which has been recognized as the finest course in the valley by LA Magazine. Now, this golf club actually sits on a site on the portion of the land owned by Edgar Rice Burroughs, and it was designed by the acclaimed golf course architect, Robert Trent Jones Sr and it has a challenging track featuring many of his signature elements such as tight fairways and it sits on a layout that winds through gentle hills and mature trees. The epicenter of commercial activity in Tarzana is the Village Walk, which is a wide pedestrian friendly walkway. It also has a jungle themed fountain and several wine bars and cute brunch spots such as Blue Jam Cafe. Though it's been around since 1976, Maui Sugar Mill Saloon began showcasing music in the 1990s. And the lineups have just gotten better and better over the years. With a no cover charge policy and an interior aesthetic that holds its own against any worthwhile dive bar, this joint attracts seriously great talent. And on rare occasions, it's even featured surprise performances from the likes of Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, and Slash. Now, being a Brit, I obviously need to mention the British store, which is called Oh Fancy That. This is where you go when you want to find a perfect little gift for your British expat friend, chocolate, or if you want to get a unique treat for a dinner party. It's filled with everything from ceramic teacups to McVitie's digestives to jammy dodgers and English flags. And they will almost certainly have everything that you might need. Befitting the jungle-like name of the area, Tarzana contains several huge nurseries occupying the land that runs beneath the power lines stretching from the 101 to the LA River. In total, these nurseries comprise more square acres than you could ever expect to cover in a day. If those aren't enough, there is also the West Valley Nursery on Ventura, located right next to the entrance of the 101. If you can't find the plant or tree that you're looking for amongst this collection of nurseries, then you probably can't find it anywhere. That's actually where I got my palm trees from, my house. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you found this deep dive into Tarzana useful. If you have any questions or comments about this community or any others, please make sure to reach out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.